constantly foregrounding our collective peaceful experiences, right? Maybe we can forge a way of thinking where we are no longer about chauvinistic national identities or religious identities, but rather about collective identities. It seems like an impossible task, right? Well, it is. It takes courage. But if we don't imagine it, we, the scholars, the poets, the writers, who else is going to do that? So that's why this is kind of my first salvo on this topic to commit to working towards a South Asia where we come back together, maybe. Think of each other as allies and friends and neighbors and not as enemies.